the hard part in fishing is launching your boat, getting ready for a tournament. You got only two days to figure it out. Big body of water, could be biting anything, could be shallow deep. What's the best thing to catch them on? What's the best area to be in? That's the stuff that wears on you. And then the tournament starts and you're trying to make adjustments during the day so you can beat dudes like Jordan Lee. Not easy. You gotta constantly be, your mind's gotta be going all the time. So that's the opposite of easy. That wears you down, beats you up. So fishing in general is not hard. You know, you don't have to know all about your electronics, whatever, you don't need any of that. We just go out and throw worms all day. You can do that, but the adjusting, being able to use different baits, that's, that's the tricky part. So I did, I, I got a like first slide that comes up and I did bring some goodies in case I finish early. This is what being versatile looks like. Look, check this out. I know everybody likes to see what's, what's the dude throwing. I have got it all in here. This is cut off from Gunnersville and I just got back from Florida. And to me, this makes me want to throw up. I try it all and then I have to pick one and roll with it. How do you do that? It ain't easy, and if I really had it mastered, I'd win every tournament, right? So that's kind of what I'm I'm going to dive into today is how to know what to throw when. And that's I really can't just straight up answer that question, but I'm going to tell you how I kind of go about it. So first, Tilly, let's let's jump into. Here's actually a shot of my cutoff from uh, ABT 100 that guy in the house that fished it and you can see gunners will home body of water you know you think oh matt's gonna go out in the fall he's dialed in he knows like two baits he's gonna throw and that's all he's gonna throw no no i was throwing it all we got big weights deep cranks chatter baits swim jigs fast tricks top i mean i got it all and uh in this tournament it did not work out for me but i really I really like being able to, you know, people always say, go with what you got confidence in. To me, that can be the hardest part for me is figuring out because I really have confidence in every piece of junk you just saw on that screen. I got confidence in all of it. And that can be even harder of a problem to figure out than getting confidence in it. Um, so fine line between the two. And one thing I'll do in practice a lot is let's say that I get around a bunch of fish or I mean this could be practice or anytime I'm fishing really I get around a bunch of fish they're schooling or I'm just catching a lot of them um, I wish it happened more than it did but you're catching a bunch of fish and I'll try like I don't just get satisfied because I'm throwing out my rattle trap and catching one every 30 casts or so I might try that vibrating jig I might try a vibrating jig with a different color on it I might try that goofy colored uh, rattle trap that I've never thrown before I might try something like a worm, even though they're chasing bait and schooling, like I'll just see if they bite it. That is a great way to gain confidence in a lot of different baits that you're not used to throwing. And I think it's easy, definitely easy, to be catching fish and you know you're catching fish and you you know, so it's fun like it is, why am I gonna challenge myself and make this mess and tie on a bunch of different stuff? And that's the only way to gain that versatility is to try those different baits and, and to catch fish on it. And a lot of times, I can't tell you how many times you're catching fish and you feel pretty good about it and it's really not that good compared to what everybody else is doing or what you could be catching and you try another bait or you make a little adjustment and then you start really catching fish. And to me, that's something that you have to, you know, really think about. You have to use your mind when, when you're fishing. And it's, whether it's electronics or it's versatility, it's baits, it's easy to just go out and go through the motions. And me and my dad just go out and throw our worms around or our frogs around and catch some fish, call it a day, it's all good. But it's a lot harder to go out and think and to have your mind and you're just running through it all day. You're catching fish, well, let's change this color. Let's try this crankbait with this new goofy bill on it that I've never thrown. Let's, and that's, you know, you can only gain versatility by catching fish on baits that you're not used to catching them on, but you have to be around fish for that to happen. And that kind of goes back to, I change baits a lot when I'm catching fish. 
it doesn't do me a lot of good to go out and try a new bait and I don't know if there's a bass within six miles of me and you're gonna actually lose confidence in it. And probably why I'm not a big glide bait guy because I'll go out and throw it for a little bit and be like, man, I probably just fished through a hundred of them and never got a bite. When really I should probably throw it more when I'm catching fish and tie it on and see if they bite it when it's, when it's in the right scenario. And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.